Hello and welcome to Let's Try, a series where we try new and upcoming indie games. Today, let's try Cardpocalypse and hope that we can get back into that intro song, which it's 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 like an 80s or 90s intro song. My uh, my chat got to hear it in the background who are here live on Twitch with me right now. Uh, unfortunately, that music is going to disappear while I'm checking the information, but Cardpocalypse was released yesterday on Monday, October 12th. Today is Tuesday, October 13th. So we are trying it a day after it was made. Thank you for watching this live on YouTube. If you enjoy it, I, I don't know yet what to expect from this game, but we do have an affiliate link down below in the description. Also, those of you here in chat, we have a, an affiliate link if you are interested in picking up this game. I like how the very first thing about this is it says includes gauntlet mode. So this is a card game where we get to become a mega mutant power pets master which i assume is like a pokemon master except for x-men except they're x pokemon so mutant pokemon i don't know i have no idea we are just gonna okay i'm, I'm, I'm gonna get this description i feel like we just need to dive into this and things are gonna get crazy real fast so new game story mode I'm watching a Saturday morning cartoon. Jess, turn that off. This bus will be here any minute. You gotta go. Five more minutes, Mom. I gave you five more minutes. Ten minutes ago. But Wolfgang is gonna beat Inferna and go... Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, if I need to drive you to school and you're late on your first day, I swear. Jeez, I'm going, I'm going. You know, I think you're gonna love this new school. Yeah, I bet I'll have a blast. I gotta go. Don't miss the bus. Love you. This is I not love what I too, expected Mom. in the year 2020. Click around the room. We're gonna, like... This is card apocalypse game. I Oh, Cypress, there's a sunflower. There's a sunflower, blink and you'll miss it. TVs should not glow like that. I I know that most of the the younger generation has not seen a CRTV. That looks like ectoplasm. Monday, the new kid on the block. Yeah. Is that an official Mega Mutant Power Pets lunchbox? Are you talking to me? Oh wait, I get to choose what she says. I had to eat 10 boxes of Power Pets Mutant Marshmallow Crunch to get it. Obviously the correct answer. We are, we are tapping back into what it was like to be in the 90s. Whoa, very mega. You must seriously love the game. I haven't played the card game, but the show is amazing. What? You won't survive in Dude Dudsdale Elementary without playing Power Pets. Tell me about it. My family just moved here. It's my first day, and I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of wondering how you got onto the, boss, the bus in a wheelchair, and that there's actually a dedicated space in the back of the bus for a wheelchair. Also, we're, we're missing some of the kids here on the bus uh, in my side view. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it actually... Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move my camera real just super quick here for a second just to show... There's more students on the bus. That's all. That might be a bus driver up front. We might be on the, uh, the short bus. It's okay to be on the short bus. I rode the short bus a couple of times. The protagonist is in a wheelchair. We assume this is the protagonist, Jess. Step one is you need to play Power Pets, so let's play. But I don't have any cards. My parents won't let me buy them because I have an impulse control problem. Smart parents. Hee <laughs> hee, then let's skip to step two. Trading lunch. I have a pack of cheesy donkeys. How about you? I have a caramel spite goo 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 bar and a oh my goo. You find a Wolfian starter pack in your lunchbox. 
No way, a limited edition Wolfian Super Spite starter pack? There's a note. It says, hope you have a mega first day at school. Dadzo. XXX. Best dad ever. Let's play before we get to school. I'm, I'm now having flashbacks to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! On, during, um, 8th grade. On the bus on the way to school. Bef before I, like, actually got properly into it and was then playing it at lunch. Yolanda versus Jess. Are you ready to learn the awesomeness of this Power Pets? Uh, we have our little icon in the corner, too. Let's go ahead and... I'm actually going to go ahead and move our... Uh... Uh, yeah, we'll just take the uh, lower right corner, I think. For now. Since that seems to get us a little more out of the way. There's a click to continue on the right. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, we do. This is your champion. Okay, so we have one key card. Where is Rex right now? He, he would care to see if this is actually a good game or not. Like, he'd really care. This is your opponent's champion. All champions start with 30 health. Reduce the rival champion health down to zero to win. If your champion's health is reduced to zero, you lose. This is the strength of your champion's attack. Attack the enemy champ. Try attacking the ch enemy champion with your champion. Click to drag a champion to attack. Okay. The enemy champion has lost the same amount of health that you used to attack. When you attack, the enemy hits you back with their attack. This is your pet food. You start the match with one food. Your max food goes up by one at the start of each of your turns. Your food refills to this max number at the start of your turn, so don't be afraid to use it. This is your hand. You use pet food to play cards from your hand to help you in battle. Examine the minion card. Invert... Invertus? Invertois? It's an inverted tortoise! Minions also have attack and health. If a minion's health is reduced to zero, it's destroyed and removed from the match. Some minions have special abilities. You can examine a card to see the details of that card's ability. Minions need food. You need to spend this amount of food to play this card. Rex, we are playing a children's card game. You don't have enough food to play this card yet. You'll have to wait to play it. There's nothing else you can do now, so go ahead and end my turn. Intern is over on the right side. I think you can see it above Sparkbot. He's attacking me, so we both trade one damage each. I'm now up to two food. You draw a card from your deck at the start of your turn. This tiny head rat costs too much food to be played right now. You can play Invertus. Time to deploy a minion. I just drag it from my hand. Puts my minion on the field. Notice your available food was used when you played Invertus. A minion cannot attack on the same turn that was deployed, so it has summoning sickness. You will have to wait for your next turn to attack with your Invertus. Invertus had three health when they were in your hand, but now they have four health. Your champion's ability gave your minion one extra health. This is your champion's starting form. Your champion will go mega when their health is reduced to 15 or less. Uh, Rex is constantly lurking for channel points, that's why. He's, try he's trying to unlock that achievement. Defend your minions must be attacked before any other target. Plus one health, plus one, plus one. On transform, deploy a 3-3 minion with defender. Defender minions must be attacked for other targets. We'll take a closer look at Megaform later. Scrapper's ability gives minions with defender one more health. Now's your chance. Use your champion to attack. There's nothing else you can do, so in turn. Does he have to attack my defender? Sure, I can always get this minion as a defender. Your enemy can't attack anything else until the defender is destroyed. Okay, okay. Your opponent also played an Invertus. This means you cannot attack their champion until you defeat their defender minion. I should, I should actually be reading the things before going, so as soon as I mouse over, it switches to the next thing. We drew a cat. Now, as we all know, a cat is a liquid, and it will conform to the size of its container. This cat was kept in a box for a very long time. It's been, it doesn't have any abilities, but has, has powerful stats. So three attack, three health. You can use your champion to attack enemy minions. Attack the enemy and Virtus with your champion now. 
Sometimes it's a good strategy not to attack. Save your Invertus for now and end your turn. It's a cat brain dog. Your opponent played a minion with hiding. It cannot be attacked until after it attacks one of your cards. That's cool. You drew a mutation. Examine it to see details. Spite sores. Mutations are mighty power-ups. They boost your minions, trick your enemies, and more. When you deploy a minion that costs five or more, double that minion's attack. All mutations cost one food and are played face down. So our mutations are our trap cards. They do nothing until they are triggered. The trigger section explains what needs to happen to reveal a mutation. Here you need to play a minion that costs five food or more. The mutate section of the card explains the effect the card will have when it's revealed. This mutation will double the attack the minion used to trigger it. Obviously, I'm putting it face down. Mutations stay here face down. Can we see those? Yes, we can. Okay. Until they are triggered, you can examine them anytime to remember what they do. Time to get rid of that enemy defender. Attack that Invertus with your cat. Take it out, kitty cat. Hit the enemy champion with everything you have. Attack with your champion now. I feel like I wouldn't want to attack with my Invertus, though. I feel like that would be the point I would just leave my Invertus there to take... I guess the cat brain dog will take it out. That's probably why. Well, then again, he'll, he'll attack my turn Invertus with his Scrapper, though. I feel like that's a misplay. Like, I should have left my Virtus there with two health, because either he has- because he would have to waste his Cat Brain Dog's attack on it. Hello, Hollow. We are playing a children's card game today. This is a uh, card Cardpocalypse, which got released, I believe, yesterday. And it has a theme song, and I, I wish the theme song had gotten to play here on the, uh... Yes, yeah, he just wrecked my cat because of that play. Now I have five food and drew a minion that costs five to play. Play it, and the mutation will activate. So now it doubles my minion's attack. My minion still has summoning sickness. Oh, it has charge, so it can attack. It has haste. It charges haste. Okay. Wouldn't I want to use my scrapper to attack first, since he's going to mutate his scrapper right after I hit it? Like, yeah, I would have wanted to attack my scrapper first. Why? Why are they teaching me to misplay? So his champion's health has reached 15 or less, so they go mega. Yeah, see, I could have. I guess, yeah, I would, I would have smacked him with my Scrapper first, then that way. Examine the Mega Scrapper and check out their Mega abilities. I already, I already know. His de he, got, he spawned his 3-3 de Defender. He got plus one, plus one on it. And yeah, Hollow, those new, those new emotes make me so happy. They look so good. Kevin's also have another special ability. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He deployed the 3-3, but it became a 4-4 four because of his ability. Do you have, think you have what it takes to become a Mega Mutant Power? Power Pets Master Will. It's your turn to take over and show us what you've got. After you guys have me misplay? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I just attacked everything, so pass turn. And he destroyed my rabbit foot with his tiny dog because of the misplay we had. We're finally at six food, because we're, we're gaining the extra food point each turn. That's a six, four. That's a five, five. At the start of my turn, game plus two, plus two. But he can, he can kill my Dogzilla. So let's summon my Tiny Head Rat. I have to attack his Defender. I feel like he'll destroy my Tiny Head Rat now. Or maybe he'll just focus his attacks on me. Go ahead and summon a Dogzilla. I will strike down his Defender. Alright, he still gets the counter in. Smack him again. I finally mutate. Mega. Or not mutate. I finally... What's the term for going Mega? Whatever my term for going Mega is. So I get my 3-3. Three, three, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, every every enemy automatically counterattacks. It's 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 Magic the Gathering with the face-down aspect, trap card aspect of Yu-Gi-Oh. So he'll probably use his tiny head rat to kill my... Oh no, he's misplaying. Okay, cool. I mean, that was a misplay, because he would have lost his... No, that was a misplay. When a minion is damaged by lethal, that minion is destroyed. Yeah, so it has death touch. Okay. Another spite sores. Which gives me, uh... It just doubles the minion's attack. Problem is that my Dogzilla can get... Oh, maybe not. 
would love my dog Zilla's attack and hope that that still works. Uh, he has his Invertus, so I have to kill. Which means my dog Zilla has to do it. I want to get rid of his lethal so I don't have to deal with it. Is the tiny head going to get doubled? Nope. I still don't know what his face down cards do. Keep some of my creatures. Um, I don't have to attack his tiny head rat, do I? So I can just finish him off. Smack him for 12. I did it. I won. Seriously? I mean, <laughs> next time I won't go easy on you. And then in the lower right, it says Jess wins. Which is getting covered in my picture. Beginner's luck, but maybe you could be school champion no time. Just like I was in 8th grade with Yu-Gi-Oh. Although there was one player who was technically better than me, but I beat him the one time we played a, a duel against each other, so I still count as being better. I know it would help. This is one of my best champions, the top dog, Wolfgang. You can borrow it. It's way better than a starter champion. Legendary. Well, I guess he's a dog, but he's the top dog, man. Wolfgang. It said the top dog in the lower right underneath my picture. This is brilliant. Gosh, this... I, I The only game I can think of playing in recent years that has had a Saturday morning cartoon feel was Transformers Devastation because it was a Saturday morning cartoon, basically. Because I, because I played enough Yu-Gi-Oh! over the years game to understand that he really was the better player than me at that point. He had the stronger deck and everything. I just happened to beat him the one time I got to play him. Like, I managed to Luxac him, you know? Don't get me wrong. I was, I was still... <sighs> for, for a lot of us who were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, in, in grade school. For a lot who were playing Magic as well in grade school. We were all not really good at all in a competitive sense. Like, I know that I wasn't. I had I had some luck in my early days. I didn't become good at Yu-Gi-Oh! until... 2007, I would say. Early 2007, when World Championship 2007 got released. Uh, I was able to build an anti-meta deck that was actually... able to wreck a good chunk of the meta. Rex remembers this, because Rex and I have played that deck back and forth against each other in that meta game. Wolfgate rules. Thanks. This is totally mega of you. Hey, you never told me your name. I'm Yolanda. I'm pretty big at this school. She says, missing a tooth. <laughs> and one day I'm going to be pretty big everywhere when I'm a super famous comedian. Yolanda, you haven't even said anything funny yet. And you think you're going to be a comedian? Nice to meet you, yo. Thanks for teaching me the game, yo-yo. Please don't call me that. There was this thing that may have happened with Joe and Tell, a yo-yo, and a trip to the nurse's office. That sounds like something you embrace. My name is Jessica. You can call me Jess. Hey, looks like we're here. You excited for your first day? I would rather slowly be eaten by a Fluffles. Really? Really? Oh, come on. How bad could it be? I just feel like we go with the funniest dialogue choice in every instance here. No way, you got a sweet ride too. Can I try it? You think my chair is cool? I also like how our expression changes with each one. Like, you think my chair is cool? Angry face. It's new. Well, I kind of need it to, you know, move. Derpy face. I promise be careful. I'll give you a card, please. Um, uh, maybe. Sweet. Jessica Carter and Jacob Pilgrim come to the principal's office immediately. What did you do? Nothing, I just got here. I guess I gotta go. Okay, hey, wanna hang out in the playground at lunch? Maybe play another match? Totally, but um... Where's the principal's office? Howdy, Pilgrim. Huh? Aren't you Jacob Pilgrim? I'm Jess Carter, the other kid they called to the office. Uh... Okay, um, are we in trouble? Listen, kids will think you're weird if they see you talking to me. 
Why, are you a ghost? That's thinking for you. I sit by myself at lunch. And in class. And I don't talk much. So... So why are you talking to us now? I don't like being around people all the time either. Sometimes I just want to be myself and chill. He is you, game. Really? We can hang out alone together. Uh... Okay, scrap that. Hey, do you play Power Pets? No one really wants to play with me, but I collect cards. Well, do you want to play now? Outside the principal's office? See, now I'm just thinking back to, like, high school, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at lunch. And then also skipping classes to play more Yu-Gi-Oh! Which, uh, we, well, let's, get, let's get back to this, uh, this stream. No pain, no gain. You might already be in trouble, right? It's not like it's banned or anything. No, I guess not. Let's play behind your book if they come out. It will look like we're reading. I feel like I'm forgetting things from elementary school of the ways that we covered up all the stuff we were doing. Okay, let's play. Ooh, there's a jeweled dog that we're facing. It is kind of nice to hang out a little and play. Yeah, and we're doing something teachers don't like, which makes us... REBELS! Jacob starts. Tiny dog, which has haste. Will charge. What's his precious do? Precious, the gilded purebred. When you deploy a minion, it gains plus one, plus one until the end of your next turn. Okay, so you use precious with the with bunch of chargers who get the extra damage. More mega precious. When you deploy a minion with four attack or more, draw a card, and your minions get plus two, plus two. Gosh, that's so good. What's my ability with Wolfgang? My damaged minions get plus two attack. And then all my minions have two plus two attack. And my minions cost five less food until the end of my next turn, after I, right after I transform. Also, Mega Wolf Gang looks like a Digimon. It's like, what if Wergururumon had weapon gear on? Okay, so I have two... Two stuff. My Tortoise might survive depending on what he summons. And I definitely want to kill his tiny dog. Oh, and he summoned an Invertus of his own. That's fine. I have three. How's my uh, when it, minion costs five food or more, so I don't need that. Summon my cat. I haven't gotten to choose my champion yet, but a game like this, you have to be able to choose your champion. Do I not want to sacrifice my... This is not a good situation to be in, I feel like. Another Invertus. He's attacking me instead of the cat, that's good. I have four food. Go ahead and pop an Invertus, go ahead and pop two Spite Spores. Actually, let's just... Yeah, I still get my cat hit back, he can still kill my cat. Oh, right, I have my Invertus to protect me. Okay, good, 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 good. He summoned a hot dog. He summoned a hot dog, and it's a defender. Ooh. Ooh, not happy. I'll have to sack my... I'll have to exchange my cat for it. And I'm still gonna have to wreck his tiny dog. I mean, it, it should still be letting me play the one from the tutorial, you know? Nasher, your minions heal for two? Oh, that's fine because he didn't have any extra minions. Gloodal, at the start of your turn, game plus one, plus one. Problem is, how do I keep it alive for a long enough time? He has five attack on that thing, and I have no way to kill it. Ugh. I'll lose my cat, that was the thing, so let's go ahead and smack it. Yeah, that was the way to do it, and then I, I can't afford to have that thing hit me the extra time.
What's this do plus... It just doubles the attack. I mean, I gotta throw it out there and see what happens. Oh, whoa, how did... Oh, oh! The Spite Spore is both activated. It has 24 attack. I wish I had Defender right now. If the AI is smart, it's gonna wreck my, my rat. He's not attacking my rat. I'm transforming. Mega Wolf King. No, no, oh. Pokey. Yeah, that, that stuff stacking is insane. Pokey's a defender, unfortunately. My minions cost five less food until the end of the turn, so I just get to cast minions for free. So just cast, cast, cast. And then my, uh, my cat still can't kill his Pokey. Mega Precious is going to get to draw, and I'm not letting him draw, so we're gonna go ahead and... Or no, what, what's his... Omega at 15. Yeah, I just have to make that exchange and get wrecked slightly. Oh, it's a defender. Oh, that Pokey is like one of the best defenders in this game. He says, seeing like five cards so far. Gosh, that Pokey's gonna wreck me for four. Unless I don't attack. I mean, or the Pokey attacks me itself. It could attack something else, though. That's the thing. It could attack something else. Risk it. Take the damage. He's playing summoning a tiny rat head. And I get another Dogzilla. And then I just, um... Smack you for a lot. Which means you now finally transform to Mega. Oh, he get, he gained the plus two plus two on his minions. And I can't actually kill his... Uh-oh. I may have just misplayed for... And cost me game as a result. Oh, never mind. I, okay, I take him out. I take him out. I have my Mega Wolf game. I, I really wish it tapped creatures to show what's attacked and what hasn't. I'm actually going to jot that down really quick just for my notes for my uh, review. Wish attackers tapped to indicate they've attacked. Just a small quality of life thing that would help. Well done, you beat someone who was playing for the first time. Dude, you nearly wrecked me. Still one, didn't I? Oh, we're, 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 we're taking shots. Shots fired. Oh. <sighs> Jessica Carter. Yeah? Follow me. This lady's just sitting here scratching herself. I know we can't see it because I don't know where to put my face in this, but... Be careful. Everyone says she can smell fear. <laughs> you guys are taking shots. Oh, no, I'm not at all worried, thanks. You know what they say, she who smelt it dealt it. Maybe she's nice and just misunderstood. Nope, def we're definitely going with the uh, childish humor here. We are in elementary school. So if she can smell fear, then she must have dealt the fear. Don't joke around with the principal. She won't like it. Now, Miss Carter. See you later, Jacob. This is Cardpocalypse, DJ D. And this, is, this has been fantastic so far. We don't tolerate jokers, clowns, or troublemakers at the school, Miss Carter. That sounds pretty boring. Why am I not surprised? If I were you, I wouldn't test my patience. See, she's just scr sitting here scratching herself. She also has a picture of a dog on her desk. And a, a, a pile of banned stuff up here. What can we see? Yeah, so there's, there's nothing interesting behind me. We have a pile of banned stuff. There's some... These might be Walkmans, maybe? A yo-yo? I can't tell what some of this stuff is. Oh, th th this game started out with a theme song, which unfortunately did not get caught. Uh, won't, won't be in the YouTube video. And I wish the theme song had replayed. Do you like the idea of starting your time at sc the school with detention? I don't like the idea of school at all. I, I feel like this is the point where, where we... That's probably the Zune. That would make sense. I feel like this is the point where we get a little more serious. 
Good, that will make both of our lives much easier. During your time in Dudsdale Elementary, you will address me as Principal Harding. The less you see of me, the better. Ain't that the truth? If I see any funny business, I will confiscate those super pet cards of yours. How did you know I have Power Pets cards? Every student in the school has those wretched cards. If you want to keep them, I suggest you hold your tongue. Like with my hands? Can we get some Rex shocked and chat from anybody who has it never us, please? <laughs> no, not with your... Never mind. See, I never owned a Zune. Thank you, never us, for the Rex shocked. I'm going to assign you a buddy to show you around and get you acquainted with the students. Jacob will for show you to your locker. Welcome to Dudsdale Elementary. I feel really welcome. Yeah, whatever. Thanks for nothing, Harding. Oh, dang. What was that? I said, thank you, Principal Harding. That's what I thought you said. Off you go. Everyone who knows you said you'd love Guardians of the Galaxy because of the ending. Fair enough. So, game, uh, the Zune was Microsoft's answer to the iPod back when the iPod first came out, essentially. Like DJD is saying in chat right now. Like, this, the Zune didn't last very long from what I remember, but I didn't own either back then. I got, I got my first iPod, I think, in 2006. Here's your locker, Jess. And the Zune was, like, 2003? 2004? The Zoom was not around long from what I remember. Hey, Jacob, who's the new kid? Uh, there's some other kids sitting behind. Uh, you can kind of see him. You can kind of see him behind me. Who's the new kid? Her name is Jess. Jess, this is Cedric. Diggory or a different one? What do you think of the school? Pretty great, huh? Everyone is so nice and... Hey, Nerdrick, stop wasting your time with those hockey pucks. We're going to hang at the bike racks till class. Do you guys remember when the bike racks were the cool place to hang out at? Like, that's such an accurate thing. They lasted from the last gen of the non-touch iPods to the first gen of iPod Touch. Okay, so that's probably longer than I remember. Uh, someone please deliver headpats to Mika. I'm just saying hi to the new kid, Tony. I'll be over in a minute. Do you play Power Pets? I only started to play today and it's the best game ever. Just like Yu-Gi-Oh. I know, right? I... You did not just say that you play that baby game, did you, Said? <laughs> no, I meant to say I know that kids like it, but be careful because teachers really don't. I was just warning them so they don't get caught by teachers, Tony. Oh yeah, forget teachers, man. They suck. We're gonna bounce. Follow us. Okay, they're gone. Let's play. <laughs> okay, they're gone. Let's play. <laughs> Mika, I appreciate the respect for my stream, and I'm glad that you had a great D&D session. Cedric has a maple leaf hockey puck. Cedric is from Canada. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a maple leaf on his shirt. He got called a hockey puck. Also, we can see the names of the characters here on their lockers. We have Megan, Spud, Austin, Courtney, Yo, which must be Yolanda, uh, Brandy, Jacob. So that's Jacob's locker. Jess, here's my locker, and here's Cedric's locker. Okay. So that makes sense. Uh, DJ D, actually, I have an affiliate link here. Um, let me grab my affiliate link. If, if you if you are going to actually buy this game right now. Oh, Nebros is right ahead of me. Thank you, Nebros. Uh, I pull a 4% commission off of that link. And so if, if you are literally buying this game right now and provided the, uh, provided the pricing is the same as on Steam and such, I appreciate the 4% kickback. Yes, this game is on Steam. I think it also might be on consoles. Let me check that real quick. It is... Open up, I think it's just PC. Really? Yes, really, unless you're chicken. Perfect food for my miasma. Or miasma. Cedric versus Just in behind my picture. Bring it on, sinister scum. You shall be destroyed. Not if I destroy you first, evildoer. Cedric starts. Smacking me for one. His minions with lethal have plus one health. And then plus one plus one once he goes mega. Oh, you saw the console logos on the game trailer? 
Okay, so it's also on console, apparently. Um, I just have the one. I don't necessarily want to drop my Spite Spores just to... Oh, I have my Astro Mutt. Summon my Astro Mutt. Uh, I feel like sitting on my... Uh, no, play the Spite Spores. Just remember... Just remember to... Coming to consoles December 14th. Okay. Or 12th. That guy is lethal, so I don't want to... Oh, I'm going to have to sacrifice my Astro Mutt against him. Oh, my, my hot dog's a defender as well. If it gets delayed to December 14th, you're blaming me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is Lickety another? Yeah, it is. It's lethal. It's a snake. Pokey's a defender. I mean, I can keep just attacking his main... Well, then again, the uh, Lickety is gonna... Hmm. I want to keep my defenders alive if possible. So that next turn I can... Oh, no, it's not gonna be next turn. Dang it. That might have been a misplay. Oh, nope. He just he just did a bad choice having Miasma attack the hot dog. Good, he misplayed. Okay. We can still bust out another Pokey. We can bust out another Spite Spores. We can wreck that Invertus. And I have to attack the Invertus. Pass turn. Yeah, lethal only affects minions. Uh-oh, he just got himself down to Mega, so he gets plus one, plus one on his... Oh, no, on his lethal min... Deploy two zero one minions with lethal. And they get plus one, plus one. Okay. Um, life just became more complicated. We're going to summon my cat. I still haven't been able to flip to Mega, so I need to... Well, he has the Invertus first. I have to kill. Um... Just keep smacking him a little bit, and then try to take out one of those lethals with me. So my goal is to take out the champion. Okay, so yeah, he wouldn't... Oh, dang it. He'd made the right play. He's making all the right plays. Is that mouse lethal? No, it's an ambush. What's an ambush? Ambush minions don't take retaliation damage when they attack a champion. That's fine. He can't kill my Dogzilla, so my Dogzilla will survive the turn. And it'll have massive damage. This this is, uh, it's it's like a lot of other card games. Um, Rex could give a better description of what it's like than me. It has, it's, it's, ma it's Magic the Gathering mechanics for the most part, but with a champion monster. So th there's a lot of card games that involve a, a champion that you start with. Uh, Mega Man CCG is the one that Rex really enjoys. Okay, I can't, I can't beat his Ambusher. I think I probably want to attack his Ambusher anyway. That yeah, doesn't matter. A champion is like a commander, but it's, it starts on the board, and once it dies, you're done. Oh, he summoned another... That doesn't matter. He doesn't have any uh, defenders right now. So my Dogzilla says high for 22 damage. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a lot of similar things. Like, lethal is death touch. Uh, charge is haste. I forget what other mechanics we had offhand. It's, it's, the damage works basically the same way. There's summoning sickness. By the greatest mega mutant champion in the universe. Jess wins. Great game, we should play again soon. Well, first I have to study for, for my college entrance exam, then a meeting with club leaders, Pee Wee after school, and said, what's the holdup? You know, I got a paper due today that you got to start writing. Come on. Sorry, but I got to go. Some random kid just walks by on the bottom of the screen. 
I just gotta grab a book in my locker real quick, Tony. Cedric, I think you dropped something. Nope, that's not mine. It's a card and a note. It says, Welcome to Dudsdale. Not a bad way to start the day, huh? Not bad at all. You got a rare card from Cedric. Spiked Collar. If your champion is mega at the start of your turn, something... I can't... I want to read the card. That was not a kid. That was a Super Saiyan. So this is the cafeteria. Never, under any circumstances, eat the food. Chickens evolved from dinosaurs. I mean, I can read in the cafeteria. I mean, I checked the rules. Whoa, take a chill pill, Sam. I wasn't even talking to you. Sorry, I thought you were a teacher. I'm not really reading. I'm rearranging my deck. Kids really take this game seriously around here, huh? That's, t that's typically how a lot of these games work, game, is that you typically gain new cards as you win matches, or as you play matches, depending on the game. You think this is taking the game seriously? You must be new. Yeah, I am. It's my first day. Name's Jess. If it was my first day, I'd be so nervous I'd stay in the bathroom all day, throwing up. It's like Pokemon you win and steal from the loser. Fair. It still astounds me that Nintendo made the mistake of translate uh, of having the the cards in Pokemon be called prizes to confuse tons of kids that you just get to like steal a random card from each other. You can embarrass yourself or get in big trouble, or everyone could bully you, or that doesn't mean you should freak out. Please don't freak out. Hey, want to check out my deck? Deck building and factions. There are four factions of power pets: Wolfians, Mutant, Meowtants. Sinisters and Pipsqueaks. Each deck needs a champion, which also decides the deck faction. You then need to fill out the deck to 20 cards. So it's a, it's a very simple game in that case, if it's just 20 cards. Great neutral cards can be used in any deck. You can have several decks ready from each faction. Feel free to experiment. Very cool. Want to play now that you're done deck building? What? There are teachers around here. It's not like the game is banned or anything. It may as well be. The teachers really hate it and any kids that play it. And any kid that plays it. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff in that order? Wait. No, 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 because the first one was Wolfians. So Wolfians are not... are not Griffins. They're wolves. Completely different. We, we had the, uh... We had the... Oh gosh, I can't remember the names anymore. So you don't play? I do sometimes if someone wants to play me. I don't get to play a lot. Come on, there's no one watching. Let's play a match. Okay, we have we have Meowtants. We have Wolfians. I feel like this is this is more along the lines of the uh uh of oh gosh, why can I not remember the Marauders? We've got a dog. I mean, I guess it's not. We have, we have a. We have, I assume Pipsqueaks is a mouse, but it could be a, a rabbit. Okay, wait, wait. Wolfians equal dogs equals loyal equals Gryffindors. Meowtons equals cats equals intelligence equals Ravenclaw. The colors don't match up, though. Come on. We we could have properly stolen this, lifted this straight off of Harry Potter, and didn't. Pipsqueaks equals something cute equals Hufflepuff. You heard it here first, chat. Those of you on YouTube, we get to win. This is why you, what you're missing out by not being on Twitch with me when this happens. All right, we're we're definitely sticking with our uh, Wolfgang deck, though. Oh, I can edit my deck. Skinless cat, but my deck is full. Oh, so some of the, some of these guys are actually really strong. Um. But that has no effect. It's just a 4-5. It's just a 5 cost 4-5. The spotted ferret. Come on, pull it up so I can see it, dang it. It's a 5-1 for 4.
cat brain dog is has hiding so hi hiding can't be attacked until they've attacked which is a really cool mechanic i am surprised that magic doesn't have something like that i mean then, then again i guess we're, we're we're choosing targets like in Yu-Gi-Oh, though so that is a difference there I mean, these boneless having lethal is a really powerful thing. So what do I want to drop? Hope those have charge. Cats are basically mid-range. I don't know what to switch. My damage minions have the attack. So I don't actually necessarily want... Def oh, no, I do want defenders because defenders are good and tactical. I don't know what to swap. Oh, tiny dog is really good because it has charge. Oh no, then again, Tiny Dog just dies, though. Because it's a 1-1. One, one. Which mechanic sounds like it came from Hearthstone? The Hiding? I haven't played Hearthstone yet. If my champion is Mega... Sorry, your turn. Wait, wait, wait. Mutation cards are placed face down. When the trigger condition is met, mutation is revealed. When mutation is revealed, the mutated effect happens. The trigger is when my mutation is made at the start of the turn, and it'll gain plus two attack. Will it only gain plus two attack for that turn? Because that's a really powerful card, I feel like. AKA stealth, okay. It's a one, two defender. Spite spores are kind of slow going, but they can win you the game. Ugh. I don't know what to swap. I don't know what's bad in this deck. Hot dog is really good. It's mid range. Let's drop one of the rats. Grab that spiked collar, and that'll that'll be good enough for now. Ooh, stickers. Missions map. We'll find out eventually. Uh, close and just select deck. Sam versus Jess. We could get in so much trouble with the teachers for this. What the teachers don't know won't hurt us. His minions with a swarm have plus one health. When you deploy another minion, swarm minions get plus one attack until the end of turn. Ooh. Hair force. His name is Hair Force. <laughs> that is one of the greatest. Po is that a, a a triple entendre? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Or is it just the? Is it just the joke of combining a rab an air rabbit because it's Air Force, but it's Hair Force because it's a rabbit? But also, it's got its hair going on for its its thing. This is the most brilliant joke I've seen all year. Or the most brilliant name. This is amazing. On transform, it deploys two zero ones with swarm, but they have plus one, plus one. Does, does that count as... Oh, no, that counts as a deploy, so they get, they get plus one attack until the end of the turn, but he has to have other stuff present for it to get the boost. Just gonna drop that spite stones and smack him. So I have my glutal, which will get plus one plus one if it survives. I play my cat as a three three though. I have to attack his defender. How did my cat gain attack? My damage minions have plus two attack, that's why. So I actually do want the higher health in this deck. Okay, okay. Put my next bite spores face down. <coughs> oh, I probably should, I should have cast my two Gloodles. That was a misplay. Kill his Invertos. 
and have the cat wreck his face. Oh, it's cat cubed. I didn't even catch the cubed part before. This is, this is fantastic. Okay, he summoned a boneless, but I'm gonna take out his boneless my Gloodle. I can also summon creatures, uh, creatures at any time. Do I want my Pokey out, or do I want the, uh, no, I want the Rabbit Force. Wait, is this gonna trigger my... The cost five food, oh my gosh. Attack with Rabbit Force for game? I guess it's not game. But, like, this is game right here, basically. He's going to deploy the two swarmers as soon as I do that. Well, that didn't actually lower him enough to transform him. He'll transform after this one. Oh no, I killed him anyway. Holy crap! Rabbit foot. Oh, it's rabbit foot. Thank you, Mika. Nibble on that, Sam. My poor pipsqueak. Oh gosh, man. This, this game is so busted. Whoa, you're good. That was great. The game is so much more fun when you play against someone else. Well, we can play anytime. Really, this is the best lunchtime ever. <gasps> Mrs. Wieners is looking. Mrs. Wieners is a teacher's name. Mrs. Wieners. Hmm? We're done here anyway. Come on, Jess. Want to see the playground? Let's do it. Here's the playground. I would tell you more, but I don't really come out here that often. Snore. I'll take over the tour. The playground is where all the losers go to be boring, and it sucks. End of tour. Whoa, thanks a bunch, Ashley. No problem, so you're the new kid, huh? I just moved to town. I'm Jess. And I'm bored. You got cards? You want to play Power Pets? I want to trade. You win by having the best cards. Skill has got nothing to do with it. Odds are, this game is not as well balanced as it could be, and considering how good the plot is, I, I have to wonder, and, like, I mean, I've already got a deck that's kind of nutty right now, and it's it's still a starter deck, so I kind of got to wonder how this goes. I also accept snacks. Good snacks only, no carrot sticks. Just can trade for the new cards throughout the game. Look out for kids willing to trade and check out what they are offering. Cards you can trade for are shown on the right, and your collection is shown on the left. Any Add cards until the trader is willing to make the trade. Common cards are worth less than rare, and legendary cards where you can also trade snacks from your lunchbox. Why would I not trade cards, snacks from my lunchbox? Carrot sticks are good snacks. See, here, here's the thing. When I was in, so, so I want to tell some middle school stories really quick. In sixth grade, uh, I don't know if anyone remembers Starburst hard candies, but Starburst hard candies were the best candy ever made. And they unfortunately they didn't last around very long. The orange ones especially. And... So I, I bought one of those massive, one of those big old like $3 bags or whatever. And I was able to sell those to classmates for like 25 cents each. It, it was, it was, a, it was a good business hustle for sixth grade. And what I was also able to do both with Starburst hard candies, and I think with something, some other kind of candy I'm forgetting, maybe regular Starburst or something. You can use your points for deep lore and you got it for free instead. Uh, when, when our teacher would leave the room. I don't know how to start. I would basically just like ask, hey, who wants some candy? And I would throw it up into the air and into like the middle of the room. Or occasionally, if I was feeling very devious, I would I would throw it into a slightly dangerous spot, perhaps. Perhaps. And there'd be a few kids who would always just go diving for the candy. And it was it was such good times. Such good times. Sad sadly, the the best memory I have of sixth grade doesn't make for a good story. It just involves a can of root beer exploding right in a kid's face, but... Okay, what, what am I trading here? When one of your minions is attacked and survives, that minion gains plus five health. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Come on, show the... I have to, like, hover over for a while to get the show. When one of my minions destroys an enemy minion and survives against plus three attack. Yeah, not good. Because minions just get wrecked all the time. Hello, Insistent Penguin. 
I was setting up sauce scenarios with candy. Uh, I, I don't know. Mm, cough. This chapter of biography is going to be genuinely fascinating. See, here's the thing about my biography is that uh, hopefully they don't include anything before eighth grade. Deploy your minions heal for two. That's really good, too. Ah, uh, maybe it's not. Give an enemy minion minus two attack. Eh. Mostly it's this needler that's really good. Add to trade. How do I how do I trade for this needler? I don't want to trade cards. Ooh. Well, if I'm if I'm gonna offer my my spike goo, let's also go for that. Uh, do I want the Nasher? Do I want the Pincher? I want the Nasher because it has more health. Um, is she happy with this trade? Is this trade good? I think if I add stuff, it goes more in my direction, so this seems even. All right, that's done. The joke's behavior is something called Spike. Hello, Trash. Nice doing business with you. Now that we both have awesome cards, want to play? This girl wants the best cards so that she can be the best because this game involves no skill. But she lets her appetite get the better of her wanting my spite goo. Fortunately, I am a girl, so so that makes spite goo even more uncomfortable. Eh, maybe. At least we're not in middle school. Want to play? I got nothing better to do. Okay, let's uh, let's edit my deck. Okay, so what I what I just grab? I just grabbed some good new stuff. What was it? I got this Nasher. I have to I have to take cards out of my deck first. I can't just swap easily. Uh, so I I want rid of my the rat because the rat's just not good enough and then go with another five cast five drop and then also go with the um ooh semi cat is a swarmer yeah grab that needler but what am i dropping for the needler needler is come on mouse over Okay, the mouse over for, for putting up cards is really obnoxious. I was there was just a key to hit for it, or a spot on the thing. Mika? If we, if we can get some chef bot here in chat. When it survives, it gets plus five health. Okay, so I do want that. I can drop my... Honestly, I may want to drop my dogzillas. And just go with the low casts. Maybe drop an Astromut. It's just a 1-2 defender. Then again, I, I get the... Uh, the boost for anything that's taken damage. So I do want those defenders. I may want to drop my mid-range cat cubes. Or my Gloodles. Probably the Gloodles. Ah, oh, the Gloodles also have enough health to maybe survive somewhere. Darn it, I don't know what to drop. And Dogzillas have... Well, then again, Dogzillas are late game anyway. So go ahead and drop a Dogzilla. Grab the Needler. Twenty cards is small for a deck. This is definitely a very simple game. Just so you know, I'm here to win, not to make friends. Ah, I'm here to make friends. Oh, I start this game. What's your tiger I do? Minions with charge have plus one health. Oh, gosh. And it deploys a 4-1 Meowtent with charge when it flips. Nothing I can cast yet. Let's bust down with that tiny dog. That tiny dog's gonna smack me in the face. Oh, the tiny dog had two HP. Oh no, because his, his mutants with charge have the bonus. Uh, kill your tiny dog. Oh, then again, I could have attacked him instead. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't want his tiny dog sacking itself into something of mine. Throw my spite face down. I should have summoned my cat cubed instead. I misplayed. It makes it simple, game. It makes it simple, trust me. Kill the tiny dog. I have... Uh, I don't have any four drops. Yes, I do. I have my pokey. 
some of my pokey, and then next turn I'll bust out my rabbit foot with the with the boost. Scratchers has charge. But he burned his scratchers on my pokey, so my pokey got the damage boost. And now I get to bust out my rabbit foot with charge. It now has eight, which will drop you to 16. So I think the strat is I smack you with my pokey, then I smack you with my rabbit foot, and then I kill your charger. Oh no, it came to plus one, plus one, so that actually doesn't help me. Oof. That's fine. It sacked itself against the pokey, that's okay. Oh good, you just decided to attack so that my rabbit foot will uh, kill you instantly. See, that's that's the one sad thing here is I've, I feel like I've already broken the game with some simple strats. Hey look, I won. Ugh, whatever. But this plot is also a ton of fun. Uh, let's... how do I... when do I save? I went easy on you. You're really good, wanna play again later? Sure, whatever. Smell you later, new kid. She seems... nice. You're talking to a different kid or something? Oh, hey, I gotta go. I have an essay to finish before class. Why don't you hang out here a while? When you're finished, find me in the library. I'll show you the best place in the school. I don't know that the game is meant for kids. Like, it, it's just... It's the nostalgia trip that's got me. Sounds mega. Explore Dudsdale Elementary. Okay, we can probably save now. So this Mika's probably right. This is probably actually the end of the tutorial. Explore the schoolyard and head to the library when you're ready to continue. Okay, now we can save. Save one Monday. All right, we are we are gonna uh, call it. We're gonna call it there. This is Card Apocalypse, and. What was the price tag on this game? <laughs> Currently on sale for $14.99 on Steam. And it was also on sale on the uh, the affiliate link you said, Nebros. And it's going to be $24.99 normally. This is cool, though. This is... I, I dig this. It's very simple, but the whole attitude for it is cool. Makes me really happy. Alrighty, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to drop by Twitch to enjoy the stream properly.